It can never be because it never works. So stay positive, stay focused on your, uh, on your goal. And if you're derailed, find a way to go back to that. Uh, if you're not sure how, stay tuned and, and watch these seven guys that are here with us. And you'll see all different kind of angles of derailed guys that found the way back to the path of success. Hi guys. How's it going? Coach Rangi here around the rim. So the last couple of days I was interviewing our guys, our uh, American uh, guys. Um, the reason I did it uh, in, in su such a condensed uh, uh, fashion is uh, we're about to send home. Our uh, league stopped playing. We don't know uh, if, it's, uh, if they want to pause it or they want to call it. Um, but what it is, uh, it's been a few days now we were to play our last game uh, yesterday. It's Friday and today is Tuesday. So it's been more than a few days in the uh, unknown, uncertainty on one side. On the other hand, we know we're being sent home. I gathered the guys. I interviewed them for you, one after another. So we have seven guys, uh, seven clips uh, being edited as we speak in order for you to see uh, uh, seven uh, new editions of the magazine. So we bring you these seven, uh, these seven uh, uh, stories. In between, we're going to do a few things for you. Uh, the PIC program is out, you know that already. The Fab Five Challenge. Fab Five Challenge is coming up. Um, uh, I'll release a video uh, later on today or tomorrow about that and uh, take charge and do that. This Fab Five Challenge is five minutes for five days. That's all it is. Five minutes of your time for five days straight. That's five minutes of your time to work on your career, not on assignments that I give you. I'll explain everything in, in, the, in the challenge, but this is a Fab Five is a great opportunity for you to jumpstart the process on your career, on your path, on where you want to be. I have very interesting findings out of, this, uh, out of these uh, seven interviews. Uh, all guys, uh, in my eyes, uh, all seven are superheroes. Uh, all seven, you sit with them, you listen to their stories. Uh, all guys had to face uh, something major, something huge, a life-changing event that uh, derailed their career, derailed their uh, focus uh, towards their goals. And uh, all of them had uh, uh, different ways of handling that. But the, uh, the beauty of uh, this condensed experience that I went through, I, I was able to ask those questions for you and see how it can relate to you guys. Not all of them came from small school, not all of them had a uh, gap in the resume, but they all had to go through the superhero story. So they, were, they had superpower of, of some sort, just like you do. Uh, they had uh, a major failure in some fashion or some way, uh, change of coach, injury, uh, Season closing like today, nobody had. That's pretty unique. But, but you, you know what I mean from this point of view. They, they had to face a major challenge. And at that point, they all acted in a different way. And that's what I brought to you to see. Some went to their mentor. Some went to uh, uh, find people who, went, who were there in this kind of situation and asked them for help or advice. And by that, they decided the route they're going to go. They went to one route. Usually this route uh, was not as good as they expected. They had to do another extra effort or change or shift in what they've done in order to get to where they wanted to be. We have all the way from D3, uh, a kid who went to a high school near, near home and stayed for college near home in a D3 and brought a school that have never been to the NCAA uh, uh, tournament to the tournament which is huge, it's a big accomplishment, uh, and uh, we'll bring his story uh, right in the middle, which is a, a pack that, uh, that I love. I, we have different kind of uh, high-level colleges, and they all faced injury, they all faced uh, a major setback in the school. Uh, one guy had uh, major injury, nobody picked him as a pro, and then he had to find his way back in and all the way to uh, an ex-NBA guy who had everything going on for him uh, and then an NBA contract uh, finished. So do you sit at home and hate on everybody or do you uh, find another way to uh, pump your career and bring it back up to where it belongs? 
So we spoke about PIC, we spoke about uh, Fab Five, and one more thing about all these seven, uh, uh, all these uh, spectacular seven, we can call them, uh, these seven great guys that, uh, um, that are here with us uh, at the Poil El BC uh, uh, these days. None of them use the hater or the pain or the anger as fuel. And what do I mean by that? When I speak to them and I ask them, how did you... Uh, handle those naysayers? How did you handle the haters, etc.? They said they never focused on that. That never brought fuel to their engine. They always knew what they wanted. They needed help. They, they all derailed at some point, as we said, but they were focused on what they want and they were not focused on the naysayers and the hatred. From my, uh, if, I, uh, if I may add my angle to that, uh, the negative fuel cannot bring you positive. Uh, uh, outcome. The negative fuel cannot bring you a positive uh, results. You need to have some love, some passion, some excitement about what you do in order to get positive ones. Um, even the NBA guy, when, when his contract uh, was up or during an injury that he, was, he suffered uh, during this time, uh, he never spoke about, oh, these naysayers, I, I wanted to show them that I was just as great as I was in high school and college. He never said that that shows you how the hate and the anger should be tunneled into showing up uh, to practice, showing up back to your uh, draw board if you need to figure what's your, what your next step is. But it never can be the main fuel for your uh, motivation, for your love for the game, for your uh, excitement for success. It can, it can never be because it never works. So stay positive, stay focused on your, uh, on your goal. And if you're derailed, find a way to go back to that. Uh, if you're not sure how, Stay tuned and, and watch these seven guys that are here with us and you'll see all different kind of angles of derailed guys that found the way back to the path of success. That's it for today. Um, Coach Rangi here around the rim. Stay safe at this coronavirus time uh, and I'll see you around the rim. Bye-bye.